Hi. So now let us see uh, in the SQL select command actually. So this is the very, very important uh, command where uh, we are going to work most of the times. Okay. So it is like a retrieving a data from the database actually. Okay. Uh, our actual skills basing on this particular uh, clause only select command. Okay. So because if you see on the database, what are all operations we can perform? Uh, you can select the data, you can insert the data, you can update the data, or you can delete the data. So these are the major operations you will perform on the database at any point of time. But out of all these operations, most of the times, 99% of the times we will perform this is select command, so retrieving the data from the database. So that is why our actual skills are based on this select command only. So let us try to understand this select command overall first of all, and then we will deep dive further actually. Okay. So first of all, so for what purpose we are using this one? So that the select statement, the select statement is used to select the data from the database actually, very simple. So whichever data you want to show as an output or whichever data you want to retrieve, accordingly, we have to write down our select statement actually. So it will retrieve the required data from the database. Okay, fine. So very important thing we must know is select clause structure. How select structure is going to be there? This must be very clear and very strict to follow whatever we are going to show here now. So that is the first one is select. So it is a, actually we are retrieving the data what columns, what attributes you want to retrieve so that you are going to mention after this select. So this is a keyword actually. Select is a keyword you must write down. And after that, in a table, what are all attributes are there or what are all attributes you want to retrieve? Those attributes you are going to mention immediately after the select uh, uh, word actually. And then these attributes you are retrieving from where? So definitely one of the table or more than one of the table. So that is what the tables you must mention. So these are the two things you must have whenever you are writing a select statement. Whatever other, other commands are also there in the select command, but those are optional actually. But the mandatory, to, mandatory things, if you want to retrieve the data from the database is select, that means which attributes you want to select and from which table, because database is nothing but a collection of tables actually. You are going to have many tables actually. So from which table you want to retrieve the data or from uh, which set of tables actually. So that is what from clause must be there. And after that you have where. So sometimes actually here set of columns, so that is nothing but, uh, this is nothing but columns only as we seen already earlier. And here you can filter the columns actually. You can either you can display all the columns in a table or some of the columns you can display. So that means what you are filtering the columns. Now, when it comes to the where, here we will write the condition so that whoever satisfying that particular condition, which row is satisfying that condition, only those roads corresponding attribute values you are going to display. So that is nothing but filtering your rows. Here filtering your columns, here filtering your rows. So this is the whenever you have any condition. And then you are going to have group by clause. So this is especially we are using for the groups actually. So similar kind of data whenever is there under any column, so you are going to all similar data part, you are going to group them on those on that group you want to work actually. So that we will see very clearly in the separate lecture. Okay. And then having clause. So here where is used to filter the rows and having is used to filter the groups actually. So here we are setting the groups, right? So those groups here you can filter. Sometimes some groups are not required. So such a groups, if you want to skip from the output, then you can have having clause. And after that, you want to display the data. This is 
for displaying the data uh, in the output actually. So in which order you want to display, that is what two orders you have, that is either ascending order or descending order. Of course, we will see every clause separately. In the separate lecture, every clause, we are going to see very clearly, okay? So this is what the uh, structure of the select actually. And in this, all these six clauses, this is the mandatory part. So these two, select and from C, from which table you want to retrieve the data and what attributes you want to display. So that is why these are the minimum two things you must maintain. And after that, basing on the requirement, you can use any of these things actually. And all of them also at once you can use actually. And now, <clears throat> so this is what the first of all structure of a select statement. And after that, if you see, uh, because here we have a total six clauses, and of course, many other also is possible, uh, but these are the basic clauses actually. Now, what we are going to see is which clause you are going to execute first, which clause you are going to execute last. So that uh, evolution process, in which order it is going to happening, let us observe that also. That is also very important. So now you see that is what order of evolution. So here that is very simple. First of all, which clause you are going to execute? So that is what from clause actually. Because overall you are working on the tables only. First of all, that table data you must select. On that data only, either select clause, where clause, group clause, having clause, order clause, anything is going to work. So the first source is actually the from. So from the clause, in the from clause, we are going to have a tables or table, that table data, first of all, you have to retrieve. That is why from clause is going to execute first. After that, you are going to filter the rows basing on the condition we've written. Okay, so maybe some rows are skipped because uh, whenever condition is not meeting actually. So on that data, you are going to group them if you have a group class, group by class. Okay, and then, if your group by clause is there and may or may not have having clause. So if you, if you have a having clause, then having clause is going to evaluate. So this is what is going to order, order of execution. And after that, sometimes in the attributes here, we are going to have a expressions also. So after what data you want to select, what data you want to display, that data is filtered, that data, final data is ready. On that, you can have, sometimes you may have expressions in the select clause. So you execute those expressions. And after that, we are going to have distinct, because final data you selected already. That data, distinct as name implies unique data. No duplicates are allowed. Of course, we will see this also separately, let it be. So distinct is going to apply on this set of attributes. And after that, if you have set operators, so set operators are like a union, intersection, uh, difference. So we have different set operators are there. If you have set operators, after final data, after the entire data, what you want to display, that means uh, rows are filtered, columns are filtered, everything, everything is filtered the final data, whichever is there, on that you are going to apply the set operators, if you have. And then the after final data is ready, even after if you have set operators, even that also completed, then you are going to display the data in a specific order. That may be ascending or descending, basing on, basing on the uh, mentioned uh, thing actually. So this is what the order of evolution, whenever you have a select statement. This is very, very important because whenever we are writing any query, okay, first of all, this order we must maintain and uh, you know, for better understanding or for better efficiency or for better uh, optimization part, we must know in which order all these things are going to execute, okay? So this is what something about the select clause and let us deep dive uh, upon this select only in the coming lectures.